are such stuff as dreams are made on, and our little life is rounded with a sleep. I have made you mad. There are not a lot of great roles for women in Shakespeare, you know, after 50, let's say. And if you love Shakespeare, which I do, and you've done a lot of Shakespeare, so you have a certain, not facility, but, you know, you've at least had experience with it, um, you want to do more of it. Your career started with the Royal Shakespeare Company. Mm -hmm. Is the Bard's work something that you feel very at home with? Um, yes, I, I guess. You know, I don't want to say I feel at home with it because you're always learning with mm -hmm. Shakespeare. And, and the disadvantage of doing a, a film is that you don't get to do the same speech night after night, the same role, and therefore learn and develop and change it. And that's the great advantage of doing Shakespeare in, in, in the theatre, is that every night you learn more about the material. On the other hand, you have the great advantage of the close-up, where you can express your emotion, you know, with your eyes, with just a small expression, whereas on stage, you know, you've only got your voice. And I wanted to talk about Russell Brand as well, who plays a very flamboyant Trinculo. I know you didn't share much on-screen time with him, but I wanted to ask you, is it true that you came away from the set with a pair of his underpants? I did, I did. Yeah. Yes. Was that a I didn't take day? them off him, I oh. <laughs> It was the day that he was leaving, and we'd hardly spoken to each other, and he, he had all of his stuff out of his trailer, which he was carrying, and on the top was his pair of canary yellow Y fronts. <laughs> I thought that that's a yellow Y front, though, that's so typical Russell. <laughs> so I said, can I have those? He said, yes, here you are. <laughs> and you're obviously working together now on Arthur. Yeah. Um, so you had a lot more screen time with him then. Oh, a lot more, yes. Yeah. Then we really, really worked together, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Misery acquaints a man with strange bedfellows. <gasps> There's been a lot of um, Shakespeare adaptations. And throughout the years, I mean, most recently, you've seen Romeo and Juliet mm -hmm. on the big screen. I love the idea of that. <laughs> Romeo and Juliet it really make me laugh. I love dwarves anyway. I mean, you know, garden dwarves. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have a favourite in particular that you've seen in the past few years? An adaptation? Not the past few years. I think the uh, the Max Reinhardt um, Midsummer Night's Dream was fantastic mm -hmm. and still is. Uh, Ian McKellen's Richard the Third was also a really interesting piece of work. Mm -hmm. The other one, which is great, was Polanski's Macbeth. It's incredible. Oh, yeah, of course. Where he really twists the text around. He takes much more liberties than we do in, in The Tempest. Um, he really chops it around, but it works really well. And his direction is fantastic. Yeah. Helen Mirren, thank you so much for talking thank to you. us. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.